In the panel, we just talk about billions of connected devices and the future of machine-to-machine -machine com communications. Where do you think is the bottleneck? Is that uh, in uh, technology or is that some in somewhere else? Honestly, I don't really think we know where is the bottleneck. And, and the reason I think is that we still don't know what is the key applications. Uh, this entire thing with machine type communication and longer term this network society and 15 billion, devi 50 billion devices, I mean, it's, it's a vision we have about everything being connected. Uh, but there's, it's still a lot of question marks, what will be the real key, ap key applications? So at, as of today, we, what we need to do, we need to design and evolve the interfaces we have, and we need to look into new technologies that are sufficiently flexible to handle whatever kind of requirements will come from these new type of applications. So is uh, the driver is the applications here or the vendors or operators? I think at this stage, I mean, uh, we still don't know really what will be the key applications. Uh, as I said earlier today, I mean, it's like, it's like the internet. When people made internet, we had no idea about things like Facebook, etc. Uh, they just made it, they made it for completely different reasons. It made it very flexible. It has evolved and it has really been able to encompass a lot of new kind of applications. And it's a little bit the same thing here, I think. We will, we design our radio access technologies in a sufficiently flexible way being able to handle low latency if needed, being able to handle or provide opportunity for very low device cost if needed, etc. And then applications will come uh, based on these kind of infrastructure. So can we say then you think uh, we need to prepare the technologies first to, to enable these applications? It's a, I think it's a, a, some kind of iterative process. I mean, we, we need to have the, some kind of infrastructure there to build applications on. Then, we will, then these applications uh, will provide new requirements. We will adapt the infrastructure, enable more applications. I think, really think it's kind of iterative process. But we, I don't think, we cannot wait for the applications before we come up with the technology, because then it's too late. The technology needs to be there for people to develop the applications.